Good evening, ladies and gents. Yep, yeah, this is Zantube Media Channel. Yep, today is Good Friday for the Christians who are celebrating. Um, yep, um, it's Good Friday night. Yep, so um, those who participated and celebrated Good Friday, I hope you enjoyed. However, um, in the Islamic world, um, we think different. Um, yeah, we believe a totally different story in Islam. Um, yeah, once upon a time, I was a Christian myself, but in um, Islam, um, basically, we believe um, Christ had a Passover meal with um, his disciples and um in, in my opinion i don't think it was a last supper because um in islam in islam we don't believe um jesus christ died yep um how i see it i believe it was some type of passover meal um a lot of muslims um can would possibly agree with me as well you know what I'm saying? Because most Muslims, um, well, a big percentage do believe that Christ didn't die. So I see it as um, it was a Passover meal. And um, yeah, um, he was wanted by Roman soldiers. And um, somehow he managed to escape and he ascended into heaven. And... Um, it was somebody, um, one of his followers, that was made to look like him, that took his place and um, took the crucifixion on the cross. Um, the way how I'm breaking it down is a bit complicated, but um, in um, near future, I can narrate it in a better um, explanation. I can do it in a better sequence. But... Um, Yep, in Islam, um, there is no such thing as um, crucifixion. Christ didn't die, he ascended into heaven. Um, he was taken up yep, into the sky, up into heaven. So, um, yeah, the Last Supper. Um, yeah, when, when, when I looked into it, I don't believe in that Last Supper. Basically, it was just a Passover meal, basically. And um, Christ knew... Um, Yep, the Romans were after him and this and that. And um well yeah, if, if the Romans did catch him, obviously he would have been put onto the cross, he would have um been um put on trial and that lot, but they just didn't get the chance and somebody else took his place. You got know what I'm saying? Um that person died for Christ. Christ didn't die for that person. Yep, if you got know what I'm saying. Um, if you look into it, to be honest with you, um, if you, if you look through through the, if you read the Quran, to be honest with you, you got I'm saying there's no, um, contradiction, um, it's authentic, um, yeah, even scientists look through it and there's there, there's no cracks in the Quran. If you got I'm saying, I'm still reading the Quran, but there's no cracks in it, so it's it's, it's not, a, it, there, there, there's no lies in it. If you got I'm saying, um. How I put it, how, how, how I can explain, um, you got what I'm saying, um, the disciples made, um, put their own version of the story and edited it into the Bible, you got what I'm saying, because um, ev everybody um, who wrote um, verses in the Bible and chapters in the Bible, they had their own story and it's been edited and copied and pasted and changed so many times. Uh, I'm not saying everything in the Bible is a lie but what when over a period of time when when you write something from and 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 it's from different people obviously stories will change if you go what i'm saying so um yeah how how, how i see um jesus disciples who became the apostles after jesus ascended into heaven you go what i'm saying um Yep, they, they started up their missionary and they carried on the word of 
Christ after he left and ascended to heaven. Um, how I see it, um, the disciples died for Jesus. Jesus didn't die for the disciples. So that's how I see it. That's my opinion. Uh, many Muslims could agree with me. You know what I'm saying? Most likely would agree with me. Um, a lot of Christians may not be happy with what I'm saying. So um, that's how I see it. But um, however, um, I've read parts of the Bible, you know what I'm saying, in the past. And I'm still learning the Quran. But that's how I'm seeing it as well. I'm looking at um, Muslim scholars as well, like the um, late Ahmed Dida as well. I'll be looking at his videos. Um, yeah, may Allah grant him peace. And um, um, Dr. Zakir Naik, oh yeah, he's... um. Yeah, he has so much um knowledge about Islam. He knows everything about Islam. You know what I'm saying? Um, he has so much knowledge about other religions as well. So you can't go wrong watching him. Yeah, so I've been watching a lot of um Islamic scholars as well. Um, Ali Dawa as well. I'm a big fan of him. Muhammad Hijab, Shamsi as well. Um, Hamza. You know what I'm saying? All from Speaker's Corner. So I mean, watching these guys. You know what I'm saying? Um. You can you can gain so much as well. So um, that's how I see it. um the the crucifixion um, I I I well it, there was a crucifixion, but it wasn't Jesus that died on that cross in my eyes. When I when I look into it and um, I I, I studied it properly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, um, well, that's pretty much I need to do, um say for now. I'm I'm, I'm gonna um. I'm going to come back with more content about this subject in in future that's about um about much i need to say for tonight um please don't leave um sorry please don't hesitate to leave a comment below thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe this is zantube media channel signing up for now good night